moral slurry does it work and let me go ahead and explain to you that yes it does work however you cannot expect you to make a moral slurry and the next spring you have hundreds of morals it don't work like that a sign that it's working is if you find one because it'll take three to five years for those spores, once they are in an ideal environment, they they kind of like spider web under the ground. If you've ever like lifted up dirt and you saw like a whole lot of white stuff in there that kind of looks like a spider web in the ground, that is mushroom spores. And they have to build up before you start getting um, a, a large quantity of moral mushrooms. Um, most people will say three to five years under ideal conditions if the conditions are better or worse could be shorter could be longer but it does work and let me tell you why when i bought my homestead in 2015 the current homestead there were no uh moral mushrooms that first year and that I know that I found moral mushrooms before that wasn't on my property. And I found moral mushrooms and I came home and I was like, oh, I'll do that sp spore slurry and we'll put it out in areas that I think it'll do good in my property. And that's exactly what I've done every year since. Now, beginning in 2017, the spring of 2017, I found moral mushrooms about... Mm, 20 now that sounds like a lot but when you think about i probably put out i don't know i took maybe 10 moral mushrooms so that's 10 gallons and then each one of those makes 20 so i put out 200 gallons of moral mushrooms for us which is all over my property now where i put the spores at I generally find moral mushrooms. That's the locations that I put it, that I find them at. And then every year since then, I keep putting out more. If I find at least one moral mushroom, I will make that into a slurry and then put it on the property in a location different from where I've already put it at generally. Um, some places I think that if they're not doing as well as I believe they should, I'll put down even more, you know, because there's so many factors in whether or not that spore slurry will work. You know, as an example, ground pH. Did you know moral mushrooms prefer between a 6.9 and a 7.2 pH? If you got really acidic soil, they may not come up there. If you got really uh, alkaline soil, they may not come up there. If the soil is too dry, they may not come up there. There are so many variables. And what I'm finding is, now I put most of mine, this is a south, let's see, this would be a pointed in this direction, right in front of me, would be northwest. And then this would be southwest. So I put mine on a hillside. So directly behind me would be northwest. And then this way it would be southwest. That's where the hill's at. And that was not exactly by choice. That is just where I noticed that the temperature seemed to remain steady in the early spring when I was measuring ground temperature. Um, there's also a lot of moss over on this side of the hill. And I know that moral mushrooms like to grow where there's moss. Um, there are some hardwood trees that are decayed and some that are alive and I know moral mushrooms they like to be near specific types of trees um, there's also a lot of cedar trees and there's a lot of vegetation on the ground and actually hold on and let me spin this camera around of course I'm not gonna be able to see me but you're gonna see what I'm talking about there's a lot of dead trees and vegetation and moss all over the ground back here and that's because it kind of stays cooler 
and it stays more damp than say over here where the sun's beating down on it. So you can kind of see the areas where I've put these spores at, how the ground looks. There's moss, there's dead limbs, there's just all of the stuff that moral mushrooms like and I provided them with an ideal atmosphere for them to thrive and, and they have th thrived. On my Instagram page are a whole bunch of pictures. You can go all the way back to 2017 when I started finding moral mushrooms. I post them every year. Now this year has not been a good year. <laughs> This year, it seems like, well, I think that the temperature really affected this year. I think that's the problem for this area. And the reason being, we kept having these hot spells, cold spells, hot spells, cold spells. And then we had like three days of 80 degree temperature in a row. And I kind of knew right then and there that was bad because... The ground after those three days of 80 degree temperatures was already up to kind of the upper limits of when they would start popping up. Now I'll tell you something else you'll notice too. Let me see if I can find one. In areas that I expect to see moral mushrooms, I will also start to see scratching on the ground. I don't know if that's turkeys. I don't know if that's deer. There's a lot of deer poop back here right now. And of course, when I'm talking about it, I'm not going to find what I'm actually looking for. But there's, there's a lot of places on the ground that's been scratched. And I've always kind of thought, are the deer or the turkeys eating the morals? I don't know if they do or don't, but I find it odd that about the same time of the year that the morals are coming up is when I start to see these scratches all over the ground. But you come to see what I'm getting at, right? You, you can't just plant morals out in your grass. You can't pour those spores out in your grass and think that you're going to have moral mushrooms just popping up by the hundreds the next year. That ain't the way it works. Oh wait, here's that one that I had on video the other day. So it's still out here. The weird thing is, that happened on a, the day after. So that last 80 degree day, the temperatures overnight dropped really low. And this happened the day after. And I have not found a single moral since. And I think that the ground is just too warm. And I kind of left that there because I don't want to pick morals unless I'm picking them in volume. And that'll, that'll be one that I turn into a slurry if it's still here when I know the ground temperature is too, too warm. So what else can I help you with? Ah, if you're going to do the slurry, so you got your... what. Well, your dark morals, the first ones that come up, you got your blondes, and then you got a standard moral, your yellows. Um, when I make the slurry, I make them individually. I don't know if that is something that will hurt you if you mix them, but for me to be safe, I don't want to mix mine. So I'll use one dark, one blonde, one yellow, and I'll make a slurry for each of them. And I've had good success. You know, there are there have been years when I've found, let's see, I think it was 2000, 2018 or 2019, I probably found around 150 moral mushrooms. Uh, and then, of course, I got cancer and I, I found, I don't know, 20 or 30 last year, but I, I didn't really look very hard. I'm going to be honest with you. I was going through the... Cancer recovery, I got lost on my own property, which just still baffles me to this day because of the memory loss and confusion and all that. And I just decided maybe I should stay out of the woods after that happened. 
but yeah so anyways i just wanted to answer some questions about the moral slurry it does work there weren't morals on this property i use the slurry i've gotten morals every year since now the first year or two after i did the first moral slurry they wasn't in huge numbers i don't remember what the counts were i'd have to go back to my instagram and look um might have been 20 or 30 the first year then the second year might have been you know 50 or 60 but it seemed like it went up every year and then now something else is even though i had cancer and was going through the cancer recovery i still did the moral slurry last year and i put it in a new location and actually let me show you how i do new locations <laughs> because once i show this to you you'll be like oh i've seen that in other videos places like that on his property so when i do a new location i take existing standing wood see them logs on the ground right there i arrange them like that see that stump there and that tree there that means that what forms a square that's a new place you can actually still see the charcoal on top of the ground there and a bunch of leaf matter and stuff now if you walk over here you're going to see these places all over the place because I've, I've just done them all over the place all right here's another one see them two right there they come all the way back see how that kind of almost makes a with that from right here this log all the way up through there i put moral slurry there's several of these places around here like this when you see sticks that look like they were arranged right here's another one when you see sticks that kind of look like they've been intentionally placed like that they have those are where i've put moral mushrooms at <laughs> These are like the areas I was talking about too where I see the scratches. See that right there? On the ground? There were a bunch over here the other day. There's some more there, some more there, some more there. I don't see the remnants of stems, so I don't think it was where a moral come up and someone pulled it up. But that's kind of what I'm getting at is you you just have to create the ideal atmosphere for them. You can't expect them to have you know hundreds at a time. It, it takes time. If you look up how how that works, it's basically you know once those spores hit the ground, they start to expand and kind of like a spider web under the ground feeding on. You know the sugars and the nutrients they need to support their growth and someday they'll eventually come to the surface and that's what it, kind of like the fruiting stage of a non-fruit <laughs> that's the only way i know how to explain that so when they come up out of the ground that's kind of like they fruited and just like apple trees and pear trees all that stuff takes a few years it don't just happen as soon as you plant them so hopefully you found this helpful as always god bless you God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. And if you have any questions about uh, moral slurry, don't hesitate to ask. I'll always get back in the comments for that.